Okay, so now we're going to look at StringZit. Can you find the flag in the file without running it? You can also find the file in this folder on the shell server. So I'll go ahead and copy that, go back to the shell server, I need to put in my username and password again. Okay, I'll cd to that location. Now I see this file called strings. I'll run strings on that. It gives me a lot of things, all the things that are printable strings in that file. There are a lot of them, but using what I learned last time, I can pipe that through grep and look for picoctf. And there's the flag I'm looking for, strings it, with some hex numbers. I'll copy that and put it in for the flag. And there we go.